Times Marshall News Bulletin. In this bulletin, you will get today's all the important updates of Himachal Pradesh in one go. So let's start the bulletin. Moving to the first news of today's bulletin, current restrictions of Corona will continue. Approval to fill new post. Seven major decisions have been taken in the state cabinet meeting held on Saturday under the chairmanship of Chief Minister Jairam Thakur. The cabinet has decided to continue with the current restrictions regarding Corona and meet the target of applying the second dose by November. There was also a discussion on the preparations for PM Modi's address on September 6, regarding the completion of the target of applying the first dose and the state coming to the top. In the meeting by amending the Himachal Pradesh Building and Construction Works Employment Regulation and Condition of Service Rules 2008, the amount has been increased for the education and research of the children of the workers. The assistant amount has been made equal for boys and girls for separate classes courses and research work. In place of Rs 8,000 given to girls for studies from class 1st to 8 of workers and Rs 5,000 to boys, now Rs 8,400 will be provided for both per annum. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin. CM Jairam said Modi will address doctors, paramedical staff and frontline workers. Chief Minister Jairam Thakur interacted with the healthcare workers of state through virtual medium from Shimla on Saturday to make Himachal Pradesh proud by achieving 100% target of first dose of COVID-19 vaccination to person above 18 years of age. Express thanks, the Chief Minister said that now the target should be 100% vaccination of the adult population. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address doctors, additional doctors, paramedical staff and other frontline workers of the state to achieve this unique achievement. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, state level teacher award given to 18 teachers. 18 teachers working in government schools of Himachal Pradesh was honored with the state level teacher award. Governor Rajendra Vishwanath Arlekar, Chief Minister Jairam Thakur, Education Minister Govind Singh Thakur honored the teachers at the state guest house Peterhof, Shimla. Selected teachers were honored with one year extension and citation. 14 teachers have been selected on the basis of 51 applications received from across the state. Three teachers have been selected by the state committee. A teacher from Solan received national award last year. According to the arrangement, this year he was awarded with the state level award. This year, Principal Kamal Kishore Sharma from District Solan has been selected for national teacher award from Himachal Pradesh. Moving ahead in today's bulletin, teachers pension made children state champions. Anuradha Kashyap, a multi-talented JBT teacher, has managed to create a different place among teachers due to her dedication towards her work, find new ways to teach children and motivate them to move forward. Anuradha prepared and sent more than 100 students of Gadakhan Central Primary School to participate in, in single and cultural school competitions. The place prepared by Anuradha had got the first prize at the state level three times and, and the second prize twice. School teams won many awards in women empowerment, drug addiction, female fertilicide, Beti Bachao, Beti Padao, corruption free campaigns. Moving to the next news in today's bulletin, the post of 4,000 multitask workers will be filled on the recommendation of Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh. If 8,000 multi workers will be recruited in Himachal Pradesh Education Department, then 4,000 posts will be filled on the recommendation of Chief Minister Jai. Thakur. Informal discussion regarding recruitment took place in the cabinet meeting on Saturday. The recruitment proposal will be approved in the cabinet meeting to be held next month. If the 4,000 posts will be filled on the basis of application, then on the appointments of the remaining 4,000 posts, the Chief Minister will decide at his discretion that who is to be recruited. The matter of recruitment of multitask workers have been pending for last several months. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, no teacher taking degree from MBU found in 15 degree colleges of Himachal. No teacher appointed in 15 colleges of the state has taken a degree from Manav Bharti University of District Solan in the state. Surrounded by allegations of fake degree, information about this has not come from the other colleges yet. On the other hand, Director of Higher Education Dr. Amarjeet Kumar Sharma has also summoned the details of degrees of librarian, assistant librarian appointed in all the schools and teachers appointed in the colleges in the order issued on Saturday. According to the Directorate of Higher Education, many people who have studied at Manav Bharti University have secured jobs at teachers in colleges and schools. This university is now caught in the trap of fake degrees. In such a situation, the Directorate of Education has decided to collect the list of such teachers who have taken degrees from this university. After gathering this information, the police will see whether the degrees of such teachers appointed in the schools are fake or correct. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, first term examination of class 9 to 12 will be online. First term examination of class 9 to 12 will be taken online in government schools of Himachal Pradesh. 
The cabinet has now decided up to keep the schools closed for the students in such a situation. The first term examination, which will continue from Saturday to September 14, will be online in the coming days as well. On Saturday, online examinations were held for class 9th and 10th English subjects for classes 11th and 12th political science, physics and business studies. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin which tells us about the corona situation in the state. Another infected dies in Himachal. 210 people report positive. Another corona positive patient have died in Himachal on Saturday. An 82 year old infected elderly person died in Kangra district of the state. On the other hand, 201 new cases of corona have come in the state in last 24 hours. The death toll of corona in the state has reached 3,593. At the same time, 2,14,000 408 cases of Corona have come so far in the state. Of these, 2,9309 have been cured. Corona active cases remain 1,758 in the state. During the last 24 hours, 223 patients have been cured and samples of 9,550 people were taken for Corona examination. Moving to the next news in today's bulletin, former MLA Jagjeevan said, they attacked to kill me at the BS of Parmar. The person who attacked fatally at me was Parmar's man. He has launched a deadly attack on behest of Vipin Parmar, the Speaker of the Assembly. The attacker hit me with something as strong as stone. His intention was 100% to kill me. Vipin Parmar had gathered all the goons at the spot. Former MLA Jagjeevan Pal said during the press conference in Dharamshala. He told that without informing the head and the punch of the Radha Panchayat, the foundation stone was laid voluntarily at some inappropriate place. In protest against this, the Panchayat representatives along with around 200 people had gathered to express their anger against this will in a democratic way. He told that during that time, he dragged Zilla Parishad member Santosh Kumari and also hit his son. Even when we are left there alone, we wanted to speak there in a peaceful and democratic manner. At the same time, suddenly my head was hit hard. Due to this, I staggered a little and sat on the ground. We thought that the Speaker of the Assembly is sitting on a very respected Post. Moving to the next news in today's bulletin, heavy rain alert in Himachal for three days. People are advised to stay away from rivers and streams. The weather is likely to remain bad in Himachal Pradesh even on September 5. A yellow alert has been issued for heavy rains in Plain and Central Hills districts from September 6 to 8. The weather is forecasted to remain bad till September 10 in this state. The weather remained mixed in the state on Saturday. Nahan reported 21.8 mm rain, whereas Una 21 mm. The capital Shimla remained cloudy throughout the day. On Saturday, the maximum temperature that was recorded in Una was 34 degrees Celsius, Bhunta 32.8 degrees Celsius, Mandi 32.1 degrees Celsius, Bilaspur 32 degrees Celsius, Kangra 31.7 degrees Celsius, Sundarnagar 31.4 degrees Celsius, Amirpur 30.8 degrees Celsius, Chamba 30.5 degrees Celsius, Solan 27.5 degrees Celsius, Dharamshala 27 degrees Celsius, Nahan 26.2 degrees Celsius, Manali 24.4 degrees Celsius, Shimla 23.8 degrees Celsius, Kalpa 23.4 degrees Celsius, Kilong 24.4 degrees Celsius, and Dalhousie 19.2 degrees Celsius. Moving on to the last news of today's bulletin, by-elections will not be held in Himachal's lower house and assembly seats at present. The proposed by-election in Himachal Pradesh has been postponed by the Election Commission of India for the time being. In a meeting of the commission held by video conferencing on September Number one, the Chief Secretary, Senior Officers of Health and Home Department and DGP has requested to postpone the elections citing COVID, festive season and weather. The Commission has decided that now elections will be decided only after the festive season. The Mandi parliamentary seat and the assembly seat of Fatehpur and Kangra had fallen vacant six months ago due to the death of then MP and MLA. As per the constitutional arrangement, elections were to be held in six months. Along with these two seats, the by-elections to be held on the recently vacated Arki and Jubbal Kothaki seats have also been postponed. So that's it for today's bulletin guys. We will meet you again tomorrow. Till then, take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.